Thank you, Madam Speaker. Can the Honorable Minister for Local Government, Housing, Environment, Infrastructure and Transport inform the House on the progress of the review of the Local Government Act? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. I give the floor to the Honorable Minister for Local Government, Housing, Environment, Infrastructure and Transport. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I also thank the Honorable Member. Madam Speaker, the Local Government Committee, not the Review Committee, has commenced its work in respect of the identifying areas where it needs changes. Madam Speaker, the primary objective of this committee is to provide propose recommendation in terms of reference by the end of September 2017 to my office. Madam Speaker, this process is a follow-up on the earlier statement that I made that there are associated laws, and that is the Subdivision Land Act and Town Planning Act. Madam Speaker, I'm happy to announce and inform this Honorable House that those two laws are in its final stages. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Honorable Sarah, do you remember? Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. If I remember correctly, the Honorable Minister had mentioned in 2015 that the review was with the AG's office. But the question is, the boundary determination of whether Tadirua Heights come under the Suva City Council or the Nasini Town Council awaits the finalization of the Local Government Act. So can the Minister explain when will the temporary kitchen rubbish collection extend to the new Tadirua Heights subdivision and when will the white goods waste collection be undertaken in both the existing and the new Tadirua Heights subdivision? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Minister. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Speaker. If I remember rightly, I have never ever said that the review or the report is sitting at AG's office or SG's office. Never. I don't know where she's coming from. Even in the last debate, she said that I have made a statement. There is no truth in it. I want to make it very clear, Honorable Member. There is nothing sitting at the SG's office in regards to the review. Is it clear? Thank you. Next. In terms of the collection of garbage, uh, in fact, that part of the area is out of town boundary. But that does not mean that we're going to leave that area. And she had so many discussions with me. She came. Now you hear the truth is coming, so you're worried. <laughs> We have made an arrangement where collection is being carried out. I've also asked the Sinutan Council to consider if they can look after that area as well in terms of collection of the garbage. But in the interim, it is the rural authority who is supposed to collect the rubbish from the edge. Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to your Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. It appeared that the Honorable Minister has a very long pipeline. <laughs> because uh, this uh, review process has been going on since uh, 2012, 2013. <laughs> the question is, uh, can the minister really assure us what's the timeline? Is it really be September 2017? Or are we going to wait? Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs> the timeline that I have given, end of September 2017, is from the local government within my ministry. I did say that it's not the review committee. So at least I'm giving a time frame now, and you should be happy every time you come in a time frame, time frame, so I'm giving the time frame. Now, I'm giving the time frame, that's also a problem for them. <laughs> So we will stick to that, madam, and I can assure that that report will be given to my office by end of the day. Thank you. And I give the floor to the Honorable Prem Singh. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, 
I will not ask the minister the obvious question that I've asked him a couple of times in this house since 2014. Uh, Madam Speaker, the Local Government Act review um, started in 2014, after October. That's according to the minister. Um, since then, developments have taken place like uh, Nandi Towns to become a city. Um, to become a city, Nandi has to have a population of 20,000. And uh, to get 20,000, we need to extend the boundaries. The minister has, in part of his response, said that he will, uh, the, the, town planning, the Town Planning Act and the Subdivisions Act are complete. But initially, the review was consequent to uh, having town council elections. I will not ask the obvious question as I said, but let me ask the minister, how long are we going to carry on with special administration? There's been no consultations with your review committee. Your in-house committee is telling you to do this now. Thank you. I understand there is no Minister, review committee. You have the floor. So, when, so how long do we wait for that? However, you know, in, in terms of relevancy, you are talking about uh, an issue outside of the uh, question, and therefore I will not uh, allow that question. So I now give the floor to your Honorable Biman Prasad. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The truth of the matter is that the Minister assured the House in his maiden speech that his first priority would be elections. Can the Minister now tell that he's using the review of LTA, uh, sorry, the, the Local Government Act to, to defer the election? And it seems that we are not going to have a local government election uh, until the general election. Honourable Minister, the onus is on you to answer that question. Thank you, Madam uh, Speaker. I will reiterate what I said. I did say that to have an election, what we need to do is to review the Local Government Act. And earlier on, what I said, listen, listen. And at the outset, I did say that the associated laws is in final stages. They should be happy, at least we have fast-tracked that process. And, of course, yes, what do you want to prove? You just want to have elections just for the sake of having it? Yeah? Just, just, or, or you want to test the ground, whether you have the support or not? <laughs> but that's beside the point. <laughs> that's beside the point, uh, Madam Speaker. In terms of the development, everybody is witnessing the development, the great development municipality is getting out. Uh, recently, the Honorable Prime Minister has opened the new athletic tracks in the Toka Churchill Park. Recently, the Albert Park was done, whereby one of the opposition members said, during the allocation of budget, that should be diverted and we should not do. Now, when it's done, they're saying, oh, wow, it's nice. <laughs> so, you know, all these things. But having said that, Madam Speaker, we will stick to the timeline, as I mentioned. Thank you. Thank you, and lastly, I give the floor to the Honourable Noe Kula. The Honourable Minister is wrong. In his maiden speech, very specific, he gave us a time. <laughs> it was not dependent on the review, it was not dependent on anything. So can you please tell, us, tell, tell the House that you were wrong? <laughs> you were wrong. You were wrong. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, as I have said, and I will reiterate what I have said and I have made that statement. I think this gentleman, this honorable member is very wrong in saying wrong things. Thank you. Thank you.